Hello and welcome to the channel. And this is called 10 Things About Me. Number one, other than music, what is your next favorite hobby? I would say sports. And I'm be honest, I am really struggling right now. And that's probably why you see me make so many videos because a lot of times when I'm not on YouTube or playing music, I am watching sports. I love uh, baseball, I'm a big New York Yankees fan. Basketball, LA Lakers fan, which we was having a phenomenal season. I really thought that we had a real good shot to win the championship this year, so I'm hurt by that. Um, football, 49ers, we had a good year. Yeah, we lost in the Super Bowl. And um, what's the other sports? College football, I uh, like Michigan. Uh, so yeah, I like sports a lot. So if, when I'm not playing music and Doing family things, I am watching sports. And the great thing about music is you can do both. You can watch sports and play the, play the guitar or whatever. So that's that's best of both worlds. So yeah. Number two is what's your favorite Marvin Gaye song? Hmm. Now why did he put this on here? I would have to say my favorite Marvin Gaye song is, this is hard, Distant Lover. I just love that song. Um, and it's not even one of his biggest hits, but that's that's my favorite one, you know, so. But you ask me tomorrow, it might be something different, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Number three of, ten, of the 10 things about me. What would your last meal on death row be? Hmm. Would it have to be food? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Um, my last meal would probably be pork and beans. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I probably couldn't eat, to be honest with you. But if I had to say something just to be say something, probably be grilled pork chops and a baked potato. Yeah. All right. Number four. What do you think of... What do you think of Clarence Thomas? What? <laughs> okay. Number five. Which character in The Wizard of Oz you're most like? Hmm, that's a tricky one because you don't want to say the weird, the, the uh, scarecrow because he ain't no brain. <laughs> Ten man, he looked like he was kind of <laughs> not like there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and I definitely have courage, so I can't be the coward now. And I sure ain't Dorothy. I would probably say, yeah, my family probably would say that witch. <laughs> definitely my daughter. <laughs> But I would say probably that, uh, that, that 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 guy that was at the door, that was also the the, the wizard. <laughs> I'd probably say, yeah, he kind of crazy like that and kind of like, you know, just, he kind of, I would think that he probably was the closest. I don't know. That's a hard question. Um, number six. What's one thing one person lied and said they were going to do for you but they never did. Don't we all have a lot of those? <laughs> the list is endless. But one of the funniest I probably can think of is probably, I was a real young boy and I never forgot this. And one day I, I just got to get the nerve to tell her this, that I'm still like waiting on this. My aunt, it was one summer and was it no, it was breaking. <laughs> I don't know, I'm dating myself a little bit, but there's a movie, and, and I was real young. I was like real, real young when this movie came out. I was probably about seven or eight. And uh, Breaking came out. She was like, I'm gonna take you guys to the uh, to the movies. And like, I remember that day, we were just sitting around the house that Sunday, and we just waiting and waiting. Waiting is, I'm just getting later and later. We're looking at, you know, everybody looking around like, oh my God, we ain't going nowhere. So we never went and saw the movie. So that's one thing that somebody told me that they were going to do that I never forgot. Because at the time that, you know, Beach Street and Breaking was real. That was the thing. So 
That's just, just one, but like I said, the list is endless. <laughs> Number seven. Who is the most overrated R&B singer today? I don't have to think real hard about that. And I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this. But I will say it is John Legend. That's right, Mr. John Legend. He is overrated, and I don't care what you guys say. He is, he is, he is. All right. Number eight, damn it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what country would you have the hardest time living in? That's kind of hard, but, but I have, you know, I traveled a lot and I've been to a lot of countries, but I think the hardest one for me that I've visited. I think would be the hardest to adjust to is uh, Kuwait. Kuwait was hot. I mean, it was hot. It was miserable. I'm like, I can't believe human beings live here. <laughs> I can't, because it's just like the tent, it's just like, and at night is cold most of the time, especially during the winter. It's hot, and the winter is hot in, in, in the daytime, and the night is freezing. And then later on in the year, you got those sandstorms, which feel like feel like you're inside of a vacuum cleaner bag or something. So I don't know how they live. You know, my hat's off to anybody living in the Mid East. If you're out there for the Mid East, much love, much peace. I love y'all, but but I mean, I'm pretty sure there's worse places, probably in uh, Siberia or something like that, or you know, Eastern Europe or something. It's freezing, or the North Pole or something. But I've never been to those, so. I, I can only um, go by um, my personal experience. So I would have to say the Middle East. Okay. But much love to the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East too, by the way. Um, number nine. What's your favorite sitcom of all time? That is a hard one too. But I'm going to give you three and then I'm gonna narrow it down to one. I'm gonna say Martin, because I love Martin. Sanford and Son, and Martin, Sanford and Son, and I'm just gonna say Sanford and Son. But I love Martin too. Martin is the one I'm a very close one on because I love Martin. Um, and number 10, do you have reoccurring dreams? And yeah, I do. <laughs> and I'd like you guys to share with some, I would like for you guys to share some of yours in the comments because I want to make sure that I'm not going crazy, <laughs> which I already know I'm crazy to start with. But I have had this dream for, and it's almost like a, the exact dream. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's about this house. And it's just like, it's this house like, that I, I live in this house and it's this house, this house is humongous too. I mean, it's like some big, big mansion like type thing, but it's my house and it's like, it's something crazy always going on with it. You know, like, like, you know, like, Oh, you know, I, I forgot to sell the other one or something. <laughs> so now I'm stuck with two mortgages. Or well, something like, you know, like, you know, I don't know, it's, it's scary almost a little bit. <laughs> it's like some ghost type stuff or something too. But it's just like, it's a, it's, it's nice, but it's like, it's a, it's a weird dream. But I always have this house about this dream. But I, that's one. But the runner up is uh, definitely the uh, missing the school bus. <laughs> I just stopped with that one. But that's how that came up like a, a year ago. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else have it, but I always have that word about like getting out, trying to get out the house in time to catch the bus. But that is crazy. That's so great. I'm sure it's gonna come up here real soon. Probably about the night since I mentioned it, but the house dream definitely. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I like to have fun. Um, 
So those are 10 things about me and maybe I'll do another one depending on the response. So thank you guys. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for you, uh, for you taking time to watch the videos, uh, to leave comments and feedback. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because that helps the channel grow. So thank you again and peace out and stay safe in these streets.